Tommy Reynolds has his gun out. He's pointing the gun. And all of a sudden, I see this woman. They say it's on every single station. They're saying that daddy died. He said there was an accident and um, your father is, is no longer with us. In real life, I'm not like that. And the Mario test was disgusting. One night I jumped out of a car doing 60 miles an hour because I was addicted. Salute, mob tube. Salute, mob tube. Today I want to get started on a series of short videos I'm going to be doing about mobsters who have killed members of law enforcement. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the murder of highly decorated Brooklyn court officer Albert Gelb. On the morning of February 10th, 1975, Albert Gelb was in the Esquire Diner in Brooklyn when he noticed the man who had guns in his waistband. Gelb approached the man and they got into an altercation. The police were called and Gelb told them to arrest the man who would later be identified as an up-and-coming mob associate with the Gambino crime family named Charles Carneglia. After the arrest, Carneglia told Gelb, I'm gonna get you for this. During the time between the incident itself and the trial date, Gelb began receiving threatening phone calls. Carneglia told Gelb that he would never make it to court because he would be killed, the prosecutor later reported. Gelb would not be intimidated by this, and on the morning of March 11th, 1976, Gelb was gunned down behind the wheel of his car just three blocks away from his home in Queens. Charles Carneglia and his brother John Carneglia were suspected in this homicide. In 1986, Assistant U.S. Attorney Diane Jackalone included Gelb's murder in a racketeering case in which John Carneglia was charged along with John Gotti and much of his crew. Gotti got to a juror in this case and Carneglia was acquitted along with the others. Gelb's parents died without ever seeing anyone go to jail for their son's murder. Decades later, in 2008, Carneglia was arrested as part of a 62 defendant takedown of the Gambino crime family that included the acting boss, acting underboss, consigliere, six captains or acting captains, 16 soldiers, and numerous associates, as well as members and associates of the Genovese and Bonanno organized crime families. On March 17, 2009, following a six-week trial, Carneglia was convicted and later sentenced to life imprisonment for RICO conspiracy, including predicate acts of murder, murder conspiracy, felony murder, robbery, kidnapping, marijuana distribution conspiracy, securities fraud conspiracy, and extortion. As of today, Carneglia is serving a life sentence at USP Canaan in Pennsylvania. Now, the next thing I want to read is from the Officer Down Memorial page. This was written about Gelb after uh, the trial and sentence. Court officer Albert Gelb was assassinated on 109th Street near his home in Queens by members of the mob as retaliation for making an off-duty arrest for gun possession in a restaurant. Officer Gelb had just gone off duty and was driving home when a car pulled up next to him and the, uh, the occupant opened fire, striking officer Gelb once. The suspect then got out of his car and shot Officer Gelb three more times. Members of the John Gotti crime family, it's odd that they call it that, were arrested and charged in federal court, but the prosecution was unable to produce evidence. In February 2008, a suspect was indicted for five murders, including the murder of Officer Gelb. In September 2009, the suspect was found guilty of four other murders and sentenced to life in prison. Although he was not found guilty of Gelb's murder, that was taken into consideration at the time of sentencing. Court Officer Gelb was assigned to the criminal court in Brooklyn. He had served with the New York State Office of Court Administration for three years. That's it for that case. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing another one soon. 
And until then, I love you all and salute.